his hand came back a metal bowl, instead war needles made deadly by him. Scaldic ways he learned, as well as Mimir's gift, to Steinar's dismay, knew who's, know who's Carl he be. In days of harvest, grains like sips hair turned, fat grew the cattle, and nuts fell like rain. Busy were the folk gathering the fruits Yord had provided them before feathers fall. Deep in cool forest, Johan hunted hart upon owl's perch, so he sat he ever so still. Harkwood bent in hand, needle steady held, as forest king came below open breast. Before doom released, quiet stillness breaks, by eerie dark song sliding through the trees. Frightened whitetail flees, fouling perfect shot, arrow quiet lands where mighty deer stood. Forest silent grows, pulse quickens in throat, battle due on hands, causes bow to slip. Haunting song rises, standing hair on neck, folk in field halt work, listening with dread. Up swirled the song, setting hearts to race, round, round it curled. Through the marketplace, hush went the people, still like a rabbit, waiting for the pounce. Death was stalking them. With dread hanging low, squirrels Pat me took, branch to branch he ran, hurrying to home. Stop at village edge, he listened closely, watching from the trees for a safe descent. Dire silence fell, birds before bird song broke, the spell fear had cast. Men to council went, the women to home. Johan dropped to, from tree and joined the men's talk from behind the throng. Action was called for by mighty Steinar, offered he to lead, hunting party strong. Bold men and women agreed to follow the tracks of the beast to its mighty lair. Quick in darkness stood, cornered in shadow, Johan's heart grew cold, doom seeping in it. Tried he to object, but unblooded he, shouted down by those, thinking him coward. Ran he from Longhawk, wise counsel seeking, to the rude caller, Michael of the Ram. The stones he wished cast, to read father's fate, hoping to dispel the feelings of dread. Breathless he entered, to fire-lit darkness, eyes seeking through gloom for the man within, kin to be stealer. Son of the mountain, voice like the thunder, heart like Freya's tears. Welcomed was Johan to wise man's shelter, seated by the fire, offered bread and meat, politely waiting for silence breaking. Why seek you my help, young son of Steinar? Cast Odin's furrows for my father's fate. The creature he hunts is more than he thinks. I fear for his life and those who follow. Many will be brought low, if my feeling's true. Spread high before him, swirled he the runes, within wolf hide pouch, chattering like teeth. Reached he in his hand, and drew forth a rune, laying, laying before him the pattern of norms. Death I see within, the casting of the runes. Not from mortal strength will the monster fall, but from quick cunning will it be laid low. Hurry now, my son, for you may prevail. Seek you wise Dorcas, she of the white cap. Secrets of the beast she has in keeping. Gain from her knowledge its mortal weakness, if you can earn it, for she is guileful. Bidding him farewell, grim his demeanor, Johan took his leave, thanking wise Michael. To his home he ran, fear deep in his heart, a journey to make, a father to save. Dons he battle shirt, armor of fine rings, wrought by his own hand. Quiver of arrows hung about his waist, bow over shoulder, scaldic staff in hand, feet set upon path. Deep into forest, to hidden hollow, where small hobbles stood, did Johan travel. Cat and lazy son lay in the garden, surrounding the home, watching him approach. Stopped before the gate, building up his nerve, Startled he by voice, coming behind him, wicked dry cackle, greets his arrival. Who is at my gate, spoke she who lived there. I have come seeking counsel of your words. Grant me your knowledge of the stalking beast, hunting in this wood. I go to slay it, but wise Michael may me seek your wisdom. Grant me your service, task I will set you. Complete them at will, and I shall reward you. With the knowledge sought, do not as I ask, and you go blinded 
into the beast's lair. I pledge you my hand, I pledge you my hand and the skills within. I pledge you my mind and the fruits of it. Ask me what you will, and I will obey. No better mistress could I have asked for. Your pledge I accept, Johann Steinerson. See that you keep it. Enter the garden, welcome to my home. Open she the gate, and let him within the hollow door. Through the door she went to a carven chest. Withdrew she, withdrew she from it a belt of bright gold, made of crappy sea. Around Johann's waist placed she the belt with the wicked gleam. This symbol binds you into my service. First task I set you, defeat the foul beast. Return with his foot with the proof of the deed, for his ear alone told him the wings. With bow to, with bow to wise one, Johan took his leave, hard feeling lighter, returned to forest, to find and follow tracks of the monster, to save his people and to keep his word. Followed he the marks left by his father, deeper into dark part of the forest. Crept from tree to tree, tree Johan moved swiftly, until voices sound just behind, just beyond his tree. Take him to high road, here be down below, to swell off her camp, set before a cave, sign of battle stream before the dark mall, black elf sat by fire, drinking and eating. Descending from perch, cunning plan donning, coat hiding weapons, scaldic staff in hand, enter he the camp with smile on his face, Bowing to the elves, he offered to sing. All skulls are welcome, wherever they go, so elves accepted with obvious glee, offering him place near the warm fire, and bid him to sing for their company. Sing for them he did, sang his song of drink and of battle glory, songs to lift spirits and to lift meathorn, routing through the elves, then they grew sleepy until the camp slept. Assured that they slept, without any stirring, Johan took up torch, creeping to cave mouth. Dark, unrelenting, fought against torchlight. Faint sounds of battle whispered from the depth. Into pitch black throat dived Johan bravely, following the path of over large footprints. Sounds growing louder, voices, voices raised in fear, <clears throat> hurrying along. Stopped by he, stopped he by De Verga. Go you no further, honored scholar of man, I would not see you eaten by the beast. Answered our Johan, worry not for me, I am sent by elves to entertain you. Tell me a story, favor I would grant, if it pleases me, for humor I miss. Bowing to the dwarf, story he does spin, until of mirth fall from dry gray eyes. O oh, storyteller, you know your craft well. Your boon I will grant. What do you desire? Spoke Johan to dwarf. I ask but one thing. Kindly let me pass, for I seek the beast. Be it on your head, you may go your way. The dwarf stepped aside, nodding Johan passed, and entered the lair. Heart jumping in throat, turned he the corner and spied the monster. Wolf taller than man, True son of Fenris, playing with the men like a cat with mice. Spying ledge above, climbed Johan to it, taking out his bow. He waited for his shot. High like armor beat, turning swords of men, even strong Steinar could not make it bleed. Remembering the words spoke by wise Dorcas, waited he for shot that would fell the beast. Turned he the creature, glowing eye of gold, taking a deep breath. Let loose his arrow, buried to feather, into beast's skull. His great howl ringing rattled Johan's ears. Stopped in stunned silence, men looked in wonder at the war needle sprouting from the beast. From their throats a cheer, rose up to greet him, warming Johan's heart, setting mind at ease. Proud now was Steinar of his wayward son. Cunning had saved them when Moonho had failed.